Good evening everyone. My name's Paddy and I thought I would start to document my walks. I do. Uh, most of them are in Scotland because you can wild camp practically anywhere apart from from front garden and farmers fields unless you ask for permission. My walk this week is going from the town of Pitlockery to the town of Avimore. It's about a 45 mile route, but I don't know which one I'm going to take from Blair Athol. I have the mini gig route down to Glen Pesci that way. I have the Glen Tilt route through to Glen, Glen Pesci that way. I also have the Glen Tilt route down to the Lynn of Dee and through the Larry Grew, through Rothy Mercus and on the Avimal that way. But there again, I will decide when I get to Blair Athol tomorrow, more likely, tomorrow morning, to see which one I'm going to take. But at the moment, I am walking, oh, I don't know if you see the road behind me, uh, there you go, I'm walking up this road, towards the Lynn of Tummel. I've just got off the train at Pitlock at about quarter to seven, 15 minutes late in, but hey ho, what can you do? It is humid, the clouds are low, I can't, send, I can't see this top of Ben Paraki, and it's drizzle. I wouldn't say it's raining, but it's more drizzle. But hey ho, my plan tonight is to get six miles walk today. The signs I've got following are saying four miles to kill a cranky. So get the killer cranky and then an extra two miles after that. So we'll see what goes on. But yeah, I wanna see if these get popular. I wouldn't say I'm following the trend of other wild campers but I thought I'd just jump on the bandwagon do a few videos of this route if it proves popular I might build I might do my next one which will be in September but for the time being I am going to be walking this road <laughs> and it feels like I'm in a pig in the rainforest it's that humid I'm sweating well, signing off for now. Hello again. Well, I've reached the Lynn of Tummel car park. Just behind me there. Not even marked the Lynn of Tummel. I've just went down that road, uh, down that road there, because I went past this sign I didn't realize I, I know it's there but i didn't realize till i thought hang on i can't see the bridge and this is the signpost <laughs> that way but on this side it's missing this is supposed to be from there so i'm guessing down that path is where I've got to go. Well, the Coronation Bridge and the Lynn and Tummel. So, where I go, carefully does it. I do have my walking poles, but I just don't have them out at the moment. Uh, to be honest, I should really, I should really get them out. But, I can make do without at the time being. Just got to go steady as she goes oh yeah this is a well defined path alright uh, I'll turn you around so you can see when I'm on the road there you go one well defined path I don't know if you can hear that that roar in the background sorry I'm getting slightly wet here but that sounds like the linen of 
tunnel which is basically it's a stream of water cool blimey there's a stream of water going up some rocks I think so come with me and I'll show you a limit of tunnel and see if I can find that coronation bridge Well, yep, sorry about that. I'm down here at the Linden Tunnel now. Uh, there you go. Wow, that is some torrent of water. <laughs> and it's loud. Now around here somewhere is the bridge, of, the Coronation Bridge, which I think is up that way somewhere, I think. So let's go find that bridge. Mother Nature at her finest. Just brilliant. Just brilliant. Sorry if I sound like out of breath. That was tricky getting back up. Right. I'm going to follow the stream. I'm going to follow this river. Upstream a bit. Because by looks for this bridge is further upstream. So, back up this road I go. We will. Find the Coronation Bridge, as I ain't tripping all the way back to Pit Lockery. <laughs> Hallelujah! That's what I'm looking for. A green sign right there. Can he bloody walk just to find that bridge? Hallelujah! Found it. At last, I found the Coronation Bridge. And subscription at the top says, if you can't read it, this bridge was erected by the public subscription and was opened on the 22nd of June, 1911, the Coronation Day of King George V. Hence, Coronation Bridge. And I'm glad I found it. All I've got to say about this bridge and having about probably a 20 kilo pack on my back it's moving a bit quite a bit oh these are the views off the middle of the bridge i'm not going to stop playing on this bridge long but look at them views Well, kill cranky here I come. I think I've got about maybe an hour, an hour with emergency 15 minutes on top of it to get to kill cranky or just after a kill cranky. I know I took the long way around, but I'm not up in this area very often, and I thought I'll see the linen tunnel while I'm here. But Kill Cranky is my mission tonight, or this evening, to get to. It's about four miles, uh, but if I can push it, I want to push to six. That way, Saturday morning, I've only got three miles to get to Avonmore, which will be grand. Uh, or, I can leave it at four, and put those extra miles onto each day, do a ten mile day. For three days <laughs> to cover a lot of distance but I'm now in the forest going back on myself this time on the north side of the river, river tumble and wow this forest <laughs> the clouds creeping in or the mist of fog what I like to call it cloud which is pretty, pretty high up in here it's creeping in. <laughs> I don't know if my phone can pick it up properly, but... <laughs> wow, this forest. Sorry, let's keep my voice down a bit now. 
You can hear the squawk in the background. But yeah, I'm now on the path, so I'm picking up quite a bit of pace here, which means I get some miles done. So I'll get back to you when I get to the Gary Bridge. So see you in a bit. I'm back, not quite at the Gary Bridge yet, but I'm now following the River Gary, which is just to my right. Uh, it's in full spate because of all the crappy weather we've had. Sorry if it's a bit dark in here, uh, I'm still walking through a bit of woodland. Uh, I'm just trying to cover as much ground as I can at a, a reasonable pace without trying to kill myself. because. Probably about 20 minutes ago, I was coming down off the part of the path and I just slipped. Luckily, there was a fence and I grabbed hold of the fence. Not luckily, I've jarred my right knee, uh, but I've walked it off and it's not paining me, so which is good. So, uh, as I say, I'm going to power on and get to Killer Cranky. Get as far as I can up this way to Blair Athol. Whew. It is warm and humid. You probably can see me, yeah, sweating like mad here. So I'm gonna try and find some. Yeah, even though the streams are in spirit, I'm gonna try and see if I can find some clean water. Because at the moment chucking down all this brown sludgy water so it's all silt build up from the uh, river from the stream beds so let's get going and as I say see you at Gary Bridge just past the Gary Bridge so that means I'm not far from Kilcranky so I'm doing good progress even though the light is starting to fade uh, not worrying me at, at such but I want to try and get camped as soon as I can uh, I think the daylight starts going around about 3 minutes to 9 it could be that now I haven't got a clue because I don't have a watch on me uh, but yeah crack on shall I go god this pass giddy <sighs> Catching a bit. I'm back. Not quite at the Gary Bridge yet, but I'm now following the River Gary, which is just to my right. Uh, it's in full spate because of all the crappy weather we've had. Sorry if it's a bit dark in here. Uh, I'm still walking through a bit of woodland. Uh, I'm just trying to cover as much ground as I can at a reasonable pace without trying to kill myself because probably about 20 minutes ago I was coming down off the part of the path and I just slipped luckily there was a fence and I grabbed hold of the fence not luckily I've jarred my right knee uh, but I've walked it off and it's not paining me so which is good so uh, I say I'm going to power on and get to Killer Cranky, get as far as I can up this way to Blair Athol. Whew. It is warm and humid. You probably can see me, yeah, sweating like mad here. So I'm gonna try and find some, yeah, even though the streams are in spirit, I'm gonna try and see if I can find some clean water. At the moment, they're chucking down all this brown sludgy water, so it's all silt build up from the uh, river from the stream beds. So let's get going, and as I say, see you at Gary Bridge. Just past the Gary Bridge, so that means I'm not far from Kilcranky. So I'm doing good progress, 
even though the light is starting to fade uh, not worrying me at, at such but I want to try and get camped as soon as I can uh, I think the daylight starts going around about 3 minutes to 9 it could be that now I'm going to cruise because I don't have a watch on me uh, but yeah crack on shall I go god this past skiddy uh, catching a bit there we go Kelly Cranky one mile booyah let's go <laughs> oh before I go oh, fucking two seconds before I go sorry about that this cat sight was just scared the shit out of me before I go I thought I'd share this sign with you hey that's good to know well that bridge hello right I've just gone past the Killer County Visitor Centre which is back behind me uh, probably about a quarter mile well I'm now on the pavement tarmac road which means I could probably take this down into Killercranky itself and find somewhere. I was originally going to go to the visitor centre and find something there, but I'm going to have to do a bit of road walking down here. So I'm going to sign off and concentrate while I walk down this road. Hello, sorry if I'm speaking in a lower voice. I finally found a pitch uh, to put up tonight. Uh, it's not near any water sources or anything like that, which is a shame. Um, I'm beside the Cranky Hall. I want a nice little flat spot for my tent to put up. Nobody hasn't really noticed I'm here. Um, that's my torch, by the way. The glow and dark one from Wilco's. So, uh, uh, it's humid, it's warm. I'm going to get myself ready to sleep. I am knackered. Good night all. See you in the morning.